Dear professors, my name is Bo Hai Zhao. I'm a master's student from Huaqiao University. Today, I will give a brief overview of the paper, Engine and the Reliability Aware Computation of Loading with Security Constraints in Mobile Computing Enabled Smart Cities, submitted to the 11th EII International Conference on Cloud Computing. In recent years, with the continuous improvement city intelligence and the continuous upgrading of mobile devices performance. The types of applications show a diversification trend. At the same time, the requirements of mobile users are also becoming more and more widespread. According to a study by the Circle Virtual Networking Index, the national network traffic, traffic will grow nearly sevenfold from 2017 to 2022 to around the 77 exhibits per month, which will undoubtedly be a major challenge in the future. The urgency of making a city a more suitable place for quality communication is driving many national tips from academia and industry. Benefiting the development of various core technologies in the Internet of Things, a new concept coming to existence called Smart City. Smart City is a fast-growing system that provides a large number of collaborative services enabled by emerging technologies, such as wireless sensor networks and the radio frequency identification. Generally, massive heterogeneous smart devices in smart cities are served by limited resources, resulting in low processing efficiency and even insufficient reliability of applications. In this regard, people invented mobile computing to provide smart devices with more processing capacity. Its most straightforward idea is to upload the proposing workflow applications to their servers, which are regarded as the core facility of mobile edge computing. Cautiously, edge servers are generally placed close to the edge of the smart devices. In this case, compared to the other indirect results retention methods, such as mobile, mobile cloud computing, the offloading and the transmission latency of workflow applications will be effectively shortened. And uh, at the same time, the engine consumption generated during the communication between the local devices and uh, the external services can also be opt optimized to a certain extent. However, the computing resources of edge servers are also limited due to, the physical, due to some physical limitations such as equipment scale and the mechanical costs. Both smart devices and edge servers inevitably need to face a severe problem, namely limitation resources. Which means the workflow applications can be uploaded accurately and uh, Popular offloading strategies must be diverse for them. Otherwise, unreliable factors such as severe downtime may occur. Specifically, when an edge server hosts a large number of workflow applications that uh, exceed its uh, capacity, the massive engine and the uh, heat generated in a short period may cause an uh, unplanned outage occurs. More seriously, long-term overload may even lead to a reversible damage to the internal components of the edge servers. On the other hand, the characteristics of the edge server in smart cities are generally diverse as heterogeneous. And uh, even for the same edge server, the state of resources is set to dynamic or engine efficient. That's Thus, it is of great importance to improve the resource management effectively and for the above system. Based on the above analysis, we investigate the uploading strategy formulation problem for smart devices in smart cities. The main contributions of the paper can be summarized as follows. First, in order to improve the reliability of the system, 
we built a four layer aging about smart city model based on the traditional three layer aging about structure. Specifically, we combine the LED shadow scan with the mobile computing architecture and add a shadow server layer between the servers and the content work. Besides, the workflow applications generated by smart devices and the right servers are defined as heterogeneous. Second, we propose an engine and the reliability aware multi objective automation method with security constraints based on the non dominated sorting genetic algorithm Q. Both the engine consumption of the smart devices, the result securitization of the servers, as well as the reliability of the system are optimized gently with security constraints. Finally, we carry on sufficient experiments and analysis to show the advantages of the proposed method, engine and the reliability aware multi objective automation method with security constraints. To investigate the computing uploading problem effectively, we establish a four layer engine about smart city model which is depicted in figure one. This model is composed of four layers, smart devices, edge servers, shadow servers, and the core network. Low layer terminals can request up layer services through corresponding wireless access nodes. Then the total engine consumption mining consists of three parts, namely transmission energy, queen waiting energy, and the computation energy. First of all, since smart devices has certain computing resources, so the workflow applications can still obtain services directly. The engine consumption in this case could be calculated by equation 1. Then, equation 2, equation 3, and equation 4 represent the transmission energy, test computation energy, and the computing energy generated during the computation process in the R2. In last three, the engine consumption is mainly generated in the stage of processing the copy of the tasks and can be obtained by equation 5. Finally, the engine consumption of tasks uploading to Cloud Data Center is calculated by equation 6. The results utilization of edge servers can be based by equation 7 and equation 8. Generally, the number of virtual machines that can be accommodated in an edge server determines its resource capacity. When an edge server provides services for smart devices, it can't guarantee to be completely accurate. On the contrary, a fatal error may occur in that edge server at any time. Therefore, in this paper, we are located several shadow servers on the player above edge servers. We can use equation 10 to obtain the possibility that a task can be successfully processed in an architecture equipped with n shadow servers. First, with massive workflow applications, hackers generally need to obtain enough task debt that they can post a threat to user privacy. Thus, privacy constraint has been added in this paper to improve the security of the system as shown in equations 10 and 11. Two tasks with privacy conflicts should not be served by a single edge server and will not be uploaded to the same place. Based on the above analysis, the pseudocode is shown in algorithm 1. First, based on the genetic algorithm, we need to construct a new parent population and its size is equal to the total number of the tasks performed in the total smart devices. Besides, the processing of the tasks in the population also needs to meet the rational constraints. Next, we need to calculate the engine consumption, resource utilization, and the reliability of the current intuition based on the equations 1 to 11. Then we can get a new offspring population, so selection, crossover, and mutation based on the parent population. And uh, the parent population and its offspring have the same size. Specifically, the selection operation will select and uh, sort, sort based on the quality distance of the individuals in the parent part. And uh, the quality distance can be obtained by equation 17.
This distance actually depends on our proposed optimization goals, namely the normalized the normalized value of engine consumption, resource utilization, and the reliable probability. The smaller the distance and the, the higher the optimization efficiency of the individual under the kind of, of, of loading strategy, and the greater is the possibility that the individual will enter the next generation. Besides, the crossover and the mortgage operation can effect, uh, effectively reduce the probability of local co coverages, as shown in line 5 to line 9. After generating the offspring population, we need to fuse the parent part and uh, the child part to generate a mixed uh, population. After non-dominated sorting from mixed uh, populations, we can get several non-dominated layers. And uh, finally, the best N values will be selected layer by layer to join the new parent population to achieve the purpose of updating the parent population. Particularly, if the last non-dominant layer can't just fill the parent population, then again, the better individuals in this layer will be selected to fill the parent part based on the coding distance. In our experiment, we first construct three compression methods, namely the random offloading method, the sequential offloading method, and the all random offloading to a service method. In this paper, the number of the workflow applications and the maximum available servers are selected as experimental variables. Besides, considering that not all tasks require the reliability guarantees, therefore, only half of the servers have the ability to communicate with the shadow servers which can obtain further reliability guarantee services. Besides, we have conducted 50 convergence requirements for each target. The comparison among the four methods in terms of the engine consumption are shown in figure two and figure three. Due to a large number of workflow applications being uploaded to local or core network, Random offloading method and the sequential offloading method will consume more engine than our random offloading to a service method and our method. For our random offloading to a service method, where workflow applications are offloaded to similarly superior servers, there is a high probability that this random offloading method will still find challenges, such as task exceed the maximum capacity of a service resulting in an engine-intensive weight in the queen. In contrast, the proposed method can maintain good performance in engine consumption optimization, whether the number of workflow applications or a service changes. In terms of resource utilization, as shown in four, figure 4 and figure 5, whether the number of workflow applications or the number of a service changes, our methods can still maintain a high resource utilization at the same time, combined with above analysis of engine consumption. Our method can make a suitable computing offloading strategy to optimize the engine consumption and uh, reduce the waste of the resource gently. Finally, as figure 6 shows, by adding several shadow servers to an edge-enabled structure, the reliability of the workflow applications processing can be effectively improved. At the same time, the competition between the proposed method and the random offloading to a service method can also prove that our methods has a practical optimization results in terms of reliability. Then, here are our main references, and uh, finally, in the future, we intend to combine the proposed method with machine learning, blockchain, and other promising technologies, such as intelligent warehousing. That's all. Thank you for your kind attention.